What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I'm here at the store. Uh, we've been open for about half an hour now. I just got one trade in. Somebody got sent over here from buybacks, which um, they send people here all the time, but they are like, we are a couple blocks down from the freeway exit of 205 and Mill Plain. And so we are on like the southeast corner of that, like the on and off ramps there. Buybacks is on the northwest corner, so they're just across the freeway like that. So they're they're pretty close. Uh, they send people here all the time. They are mostly a like a movie movie store. They do like used movies. They also do music and video games. Um, so they carry pretty much all video game type stuff, but they are very picky and they don't pay very much. So they end up sending a lot of people here. So they just sent this guy here. He brought this red and black PS4 controller. So uh, they would not take it because it's missing the sticker on the back there. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't take it. <laughs> maybe they can't, maybe they, they don't know if it's real or not, if it's missing that. I don't, I don't really know, but I'm happy to take it. We don't get PS4 controllers too often. We just got that black one uh, yesterday, which is right there. So those are actually the only two that we have in store now. Um, we don't really need a ton of them. People don't ask for them all the time, but it's, you know, it's nice to have at least a couple in stock at all times. So it is 1124, like I said, just getting the day started. I'm about to start editing yesterday's vlog and get that uploaded for you guys. Uh, if you missed the vlog a couple days ago, uh, it's called something like Holy Grail Collection Pieces. I definitely recommend checking that out. Got three things for the collection that are just incredibly rare. And I really love being able to showcase stuff like that on my channel and talk about it. And, you know, so if you missed it, check it out. I think you guys will enjoy it. I'm going to start editing yesterday's vlog right now. Okay. What are you doing? I'm going to show the trades, that's all. We got this red PS4 controller. What do you think, Abby? It's really pretty. It's red and black. Do you want it? Mm, no, I'm good. Do you like this one or do you like the gold one? I want the berry one. It's purple and blue. But the system we bought came with the gold one. I do you know. want that or this one? I want that one, the other one. The gold one? Yeah, this okay. one has the defect. We also got a black one. Are you really? I probably would take the black one. Okay, you just it, have to swap out the gold one. Yeah. And then... It goes with my system. Over here, we got a white Wii system. We've only recently started taking these in uh, because we had like 40 or 50 of them when we opened and we have never taken one in. And then now we're down to like 10. So we're starting to take them again. Got a couple Wii remotes, classic controller, some sleeves and stuff, and then there was a Donkey Kong Country Returns inside of it. And then we got a big trade here. The guy traded this, uh, he took he took cash and he used a portion of that cash to buy a Retron 5. So we have three Xbox controllers, one Duke, two regular. We have an N64 transfer pack, a Game Boy player with the disc. It's only missing the slip cover, so this is one of the more complete ones that we will have had in. Um, and then two stacks of games here. We have Fantasy Star Online episodes one and two for GameCube. It's a really, really good one. Zelda o Ocarina of Time and Master Quest. Lapu Cell Tactics for PS2. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Final Fantasy X. <clears throat> Final Fantasy X 2. Final Fantasy XII Collector's Edition Steelbook. Donkey Konga. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, which he bought from here. <laughs> Wild Arms 3. Rogue Galaxy. Sui Kuden 3, Radiata Stories, Xenosaga Episode 1, Halo Anniversary, Dead or Alive Extreme 2, which he also bought here, Afro Samurai, Crash of the Titans, Morrowind Game of the Year Edition, Ninja Gaiden Black, Ninja Gaiden, Tao Fang, Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball, then Crash Bash, Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy 7, Crash Twin Sanity, Shenmue for Dreamcast, Crazy Taxi for Dreamcast, Crash Tag Team Racing, Kingdom Hearts 352, 358 over two days, Mario Kart 7, Crash Bandicoot 2, Crash Bandicoot 3, Digimon World 1, Road Rash Jailbreak, Fear Effect, but this one unfortunately is just discs and manual, so it's got no like original case or case artwork. Ape Escape, Tales of Vesperia, Devil May Cry, Halo 2 Collector's Edition, Crimson Skies, Advent Rising, Rock Band 2. This is a triple pack. It's got Trials, Limbo, and Explosion Man. 
Rock Band 3, Ninja Gaiden 2, Ninja Gaiden 3, 99 Nights, and Halo Wars. So lots of good stuff in there. The Game Boy Player, the Zelda, and the Fantasy Star are the little highlights of that one. But that was some really awesome stuff. Um, I'm going to run now, and I have to go to Fred Meyer and get some distilled water for our resurfacer here. As you can see, we're pretty much empty, and uh, we need it to resurface discs. So that's the aftermath of it. So that's completely full. Got to empty that, and I'm going to get some new water. All right, guys, we got a couple more trades. First is this big stack of strategy guides here. There's some good ones in here. They're all good, actually. Mostly Pokemon, but there's a couple others. He's so we got those. The country to the other Washington. Oh, dang. We also got both of these. We also got this NES bundle here. We're not really taking the systems because we have so many of them, uh, but it was kind of like an all or nothing deal, so bag of controllers and stuff. There was also two Super Nintendo controllers in it. Uh, zapper gun. There was this thing. There was a little cleaning kit. And then an Advantage controller. And then a little stack of games. We have Pac-Man, Donkey Kong Classics, Galaga, Side Pocket, Goal 2, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Uncanny X-Men, and then the best one out of the bundle was Batman Return of the Joker. This is about a $30 cartridge or so. So that's pretty cool. The guy that brought this in, he said he might... Well, he had the Super Nintendo controllers, so he should have some Super Nintendo games. I told him if, if he finds them, to bring them in. And then we finally got that package that I was telling you guys about. So um, looks like they're sending it in multiple packages, so I don't know exactly what's in there. So we're going to unbox it and take a look. All right, so we actually have two packages. First one here, I believe... Yeah, this is a... Well, it's a PayPal label, not an eBay label, but... Um, I don't know exactly what this one is. We have a lot of stuff coming in, so um, lots of eBay purchases, a few purchases from some of you guys. So let's get this open. It's coming from Ray. Oh no, it's filled with packing peanuts. I'm gonna dump some of these out into the trash. Okay, so I cleared some out. Okay, so this is a box of stuff that I bought from someone in a Facebook group. So, we have Pokemon Blue version. We have another Game Boy game here called Stop That Roach. Kind of an uncommon title. I've never heard of it, heard of it before, but it's like a $25 game or so. And then we have Super Mario World. <clears throat> Tetris and Dr. Mario. Donkey Kong Country 1. These all have plastic covers too. Mega Man X. The Adventures of Batman and Robin. It's a pretty good one. And finally, Mega Man X 2, because we don't have enough of those. <laughs> so, awesome stuff. Yep, the rest is just packing peanuts and some bubble wrap. All right, so now, onto this one. So they used an old like GameStop PlayStation 3 box. I didn't get it. No. There's a pun <laughs> that has to do with the name of the place, and we're not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> we'll tell you guys what the place is once we go and visit it in person, but I got I got to get first dibs on the stuff, you know what I'm saying? No, I actually bought, like, the majority of the stuff that was, like, underpriced on their website. Um, but when we go in person, we're going to be able to look at a lot more stuff. All right, so everything is in these, like, Amazon Prime bags. So I guess we'll just go one bag at a time. So, N64 games. We have Rocket Robot on Wheels. Look at that. Does it say their name? No. Look at the price. If it'll focus. Focus right there. Well, it says eight bucks. <laughs> so that is ridiculously cheap. That's a $20 game. We have Fighter's Destiny 2, Razor Freestyle Scooter, Resident Evil 2, Transformers Beast Wars, Trans Metals, and a lot of these have like some rips and stuff, which 
is fine. I didn't, didn't expect them to all be perfect. We have Rush 2049, Body Harvest, Daikatana, Hercules, NBA Jam 99, All Star Tennis 99. Yeah, that was marked at four bucks. That's a $20 game as well. Hercules. And then four more for this first bag. We have another Razor Freestyle Scooter. Turok 3. Another NBA Jam 99. And Dual Heroes. So, all right. Loose in the box here, we have an e-reader for Game Boy Advance. Next little bag is our Super Nintendo. So we have Biker Mice from Mars with a Kirby name written on it. Then we have Run Saber, pretty hard to find game. We have The Mask. And then four more in here. We have Bonkers, GP1 Part 2, and then we have Rocky Rodent, that one needs a good cleaning, and Ultraman. I'm trying to stack everything up here without it falling. Another little thing here. Alright, we got three NES games here. <laughs> Some good stuff. We have Rally Bike. Pretty uncommon title. I've never seen this before. There's a piece of plastic rattling around that one, so we'll have to open it up. And then we have Master Chu and the Drunkard Who. Color Dreams game. And then lastly, we have Felix the Cat. So these are some pretty... I don't know if I'd say rare games, but some pretty uncommon NES games. I'm probably going to put rare games in the title, though. Next little one here. Awesome. So one, one problem with their website, at least for me as a buyer, it doesn't specify if you're getting like a disc only copy or a complete copy. Um, so I didn't buy too many like disc based games, but I did buy two because they were cheap enough either way. And they actually both came with the case. Only one of them has a manual. So we have a complete copy of beat down fists of vengeance for PS2 and then a uh, this one doesn't have a manual, but Lost Kingdoms for GameCube. This was seven dollars, seven bucks. <laughs> so crazy. All right, we got a little bit more here. One more little thing. What, Abby? What's your question? One, well, you gotta wait. We have Commander Keen for Game Boy Color. Street Fighter Two for the original Game Boy. And then Warlocked for Game Boy Color, Metroid Fusion for Game Boy Advance, Gunstar Super Heroes for Game Boy Advance, Wario Land 4, and Mega Man Battle Network 2. I think I ordered the first one. I'll have to double check and see. I might have ordered both, but like I said, this was just the first box. They should be sending some more. I ordered some Genesis. Genesis games. Um, I believe there was more N64 and more Super Nintendo and more NES and some other stuff as well. So we'll open those when we get them, but this is all that came today. Super awesome stuff. We got another trade here, guys. It's kind of slow today. Uh, we got a Wavebird with the receiver, finally. Cruising USA, three PS4 games with their steelbooks, and I was gonna pass on these and he did not want to take them home, so he gave them to us but it's Destiny 1 and 2 and Star Wars Battlefront. And then we have the No Man's Sky Limited Edition PS4. And then we have Rogue Leader, Tony Hawk 3, Rebel Strike, and Far Cry New Dawn. I think Abby's gonna wanna play this one on her new Which PS4. Mm. I like to, stop it. I was I getting like a cinematic shot. I liked Fall, Far Cry, um... Primal. Primal. Ooh, it's thundering. But, like, I don't know how I feel about the newer ones, to be honest with you. Is that the one where you fight the cult? No. 
I don't think so. This is 17 years after our nuclear doomsday, so it's post capital. It was sunny earlier, and then all of a sudden it was pouring down rain. It's still raining a little bit, but not like it was earlier. It sucks because it was nice earlier today. Also, this is new. We've decided to list, not list, but we just, we've decided to sell these two arcade machines here. Um, the only reason that we want to sell them is because Abby and I personally are not very interested in playing these two games. Uh, we played Lethal Enforcers quite a bit when we first got it, but they're all right. So we've listed both of them here. They're both working. The only thing is that on Devastators here, you can kind of see the game over into the, into the screen. But uh, other than that, they're fully working. Um, we well, Our plan is if one of them sells, we're going to use the money to buy a new game to replace it. So the guy we got both of these from is the same guy we got the Neo Geo from. His name's Chris. He's a really cool guy. He collects, repairs, buys and sells arcade, pinball, other coin op stuff. So he's got new games coming through all the time. We've already bought these three from him, and so the plan is if these sell, we will buy something else from him to replace it. And not only will we hopefully be able to make a little bit of money here and there when they sell, but we'll also be able to rotate the games out and get some more variety here in the store. The Pink Panther is still out of order. We have quite a few people who are trying to help and look at it and stuff, but we're not making much progress on that. So um, I don't want the games in here to kind of like become stale to people. Uh, so we have swapped out Mario Sunshine for Smash and the GameCube kiosk, and people really enjoy that. Uh, but I do think that if these sold and we got, like, a Street Fighter cabinet or something, that would be really, really cool. So that's the plan. We have Lethal Enforcers listed for 600 and Devastators for 350 um, Obviously, if you're interested in buying these, you're going to have to pick them up. We're not, we're not delivering these things. We'll help you load it, but uh, you'll need a truck or a van or something. Um... I'm, I hope that these are fair prices. I know that there was another store in Oregon that had Lethal Enforcers listed for like 650 or 700 and they sold it. So I think 600 should be a fair price for this one. The blue gun was completely rebuilt right before we bought it. So uh, they're both working. They do not have any locks or anything, um, but they do have all the coin mechanisms and stuff. So if you're interested, they are here. Another little PS3 trade here guys a couple of these have our price tags on them because the guy bought them here But he's beaten them and brought them back. We have juiced juice 2. I mean Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Test Drive Unlimited 2 and Need for Speed Shift All right guys, so we are home now of course and uh, we have a bunch of packages to open before we end up the video here um, I also wanted to mention while I'm opening up the first little box here that uh, Abby and I both have tattoo appointments tomorrow Last time we did a video about any tattoo stuff or talked about it, seems like you guys don't really like it very much. Um, they always get way more dislikes than any other vlog. Um, so that's fine. If you guys don't want to watch the video tomorrow, that's the majority of what it's going to be about. So um, if that's not your thing, you know, you're more than welcome to skip that one, of course. So whatever it is, it's in a big thing of paper here. What the heck is this? Wow. <laughs> what a horrible way to wrap three Game Boy games. So, these came from Goodwill. It was through eBay, but it was a Goodwill listing. So we have Pokemon Blue with the label ripped off. <laughs> Pokemon Yellow. And Pokemon Red with the label ripped off. Uh, but we really need the Pokemon game, so can't really be super picky. These ones sell either way. It doesn't matter if the label's ripped off or not. Most of the people that are buying these just want to play them. They're not collectors. Most collectors that want to play these already have them. Uh, but we are completely out of red at the store right now. Um, and I think we have... We just got a copy of blue in, and then I think we have a couple yellows, but we always need them. This next one here is also from eBay. I believe most of these, well, every single one of these should be from from eBay. Typically, if we buy anything off of Facebook or from one of you guys, we always have it shipped directly to the store. 
I don't know why I don't just have all the eBay stuff shipped to the store as well. I'm going to start doing that. So this one is a Nintendo 64 game. Pretty faded on the label and stuff, but it's one that we don't currently have. And every time we get it, it sells right away. That's a Conker's Bad Fur Day. You can see it's a little faded there, but it should still be all right. Next one here. That one's actually Abby's, so I'm not going to open that. Uh, next one here. This is in a small flat rate box. Whatever Abby bought is not for the store, and it's 99.9% .9 sure it's not video game related, so <laughs> I'll let her open that. Alright, this one looks like two disc games. I, they're probably GameCube. I don't think I ordered anything else. Come on. There we go. So, disc is loose in this one. Pretty scratched, but it is Mario Kart Double Dash. It's kind of sun faded on the front there, and there's no manual. The other one is Mario Party 7. This one is not sun faded. The disc is also loose in this one, <laughs> but that one is complete. We need the Double Dash more than we need the Mario Party. I think we actually have two Mario Party 7s in stock, but still not bad. And then I guess the last package we have here is in a flat rate envelope. This one's kind of heavy, so. So inside, it's in another envelope. And then it's in a box. Oh, I know what this is. This is not... This should have been the first one I opened. This isn't going to be interesting. <laughs> this is a replacement disk drive for an Xbox One. Yeah, so this is not going to be very interesting for you guys. But, like I said, it's a replacement disk drive for an Xbox One. <laughs> so there it is. Uh, we have an Xbox One at the store that doesn't want to read discs, so we ordered this uh, so that Richard can fix that up for us. So, I guess that's all I have for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we have our tattoo appointments tomorrow. Mine's at 1 p.m., Abby's is at 5 p.m. We always try and schedule them on the same day to just make it easier. Um, I am getting something on my arm, continuing my sleeve, so it's going to be down here more. Um, so I won't spoil it. I'll just let you guys see. I actually don't even know exactly what I'm getting yet. Um, with what I have here right now, um, I had a pretty, pretty set idea of what I wanted. I had an image and everything. Um, but I've been going to the same artist now. He has done everything up here. So he did this and then he also did the, the big eyeball. Uh, the eyeball was his own design. I just told him I wanted an eyeball and let him do what he wanted. And I've kind of done the same thing for for what I'm getting next. Um, I I had an image that I wanted it to be based off of, but I said he can change things, he can add things, he can modify it. Um, and I gave him just a few examples of like the style that I'm going for. So I don't even know exactly what it looks like and I won't know until we get there tomorrow. So I'm very excited. Um, not exactly sure what Abby's getting either. She still has a couple options. Um, so we'll see what happens, but I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I know that I am. Like I said, if it's not your thing, if you're not into the tattoo stuff, then you can skip it. Um, it's not, it will probably be the majority of the vlog, um, at least the main focus point of it. We might hit up some good wills or something. We might, we might go out to dinner afterwards. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out, but we'll film and, you know, show you guys what happens. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smack the like button leave a comment down below and subscribe. We'll see you guys again tomorrow.